place it gently onto the table. So Chris, we have an IBM FS5300, a brand new FS5300. In this one new format, we can deliver a petabyte of storage, phenomenal performance and a feature set that's suitable for any enterprise of any size. And the key to that performance in particular comes from the flash core modules at the front. As we pull one out, we can see how compact they are and yet so powerful. These ones are 9.6 terabytes, but you can get 4.8 terabytes, 19.2 and 38.4 terabyte modules, 12 in total in a one new format. Why are these so special? Well, performance firstly, 28 gig a second and less than 50 microseconds latency and the potential for end-to-end -end NVMe. Each module has onboard dedicated compression chips, which means zero latency and compression for up to three to one capacity on some data sets. By fitting one petabyte into one year of storage, we have to consider heat dissipation. IBM have addressed this by installing a row of fans just behind the flash core modules. Which are high performance and will dissipate any heat as necessary. So now we're looking at the back of the FS5300. And as we said, it's been built with resilience in mind. So we have two power supplies on the system. Central, of course, if you're going to keep the system running and have that redundancy. And importantly, we have the two canister nodes that provide the redundancy to the storage compute. So if you don't mind, Jake, can you just pull one of the canister nodes out? Then I'll ask you and Chris to explain what we're looking at here. As we take this canister node out, you can see it slides out very easily, which helps with any battery. In the event of a power outage, this will destage anything in memory to disk, saving you from corruption. Some of the essentials of the node canister are the CPU, 12 core processor, the RAM, uh, this can stick, scale up to 256 gigabytes per node canister for a total of 512 per enclosure. So towards the back, we've got the ability to install HBAs. Much like any x86 server, we can install fiber channel HBAs, an Ethernet HBA that will support iSCSI, and importantly, a SAS expansion card as well. Whilst we've been talking about the IBM FS5300, this is the baby of the range. So its larger brother, the 7300 and 9500, deliver more performance and obviously more capacity. The great thing about the 5300 is it's perfect for mid-sized businesses. So all of those enterprise features we've talked about can be delivered in this one new package, 250 terabytes in this particular system, hundreds of thousands of IOs, and this is about 37,000 pounds. And what's critical and why we think it suits those mid-range customers is this can be the cornerstone to your, your cyber security policy. So we're going on to talk about features like safeguarded copy and how we use that to protect businesses of all sizes and recover with the 5300. So one of the reasons why we think the IBM Flash system range, this 5300, but the entire range is perfect for businesses and enterprises of all size, is the ability to protect data and protect production data. And we do that through safeguarded copy. So that means we can keep copies of production data on the production systems and that aids the ability to recover at pace. So let's talk about safeguarded copy. And first of all, how does it work? What is safeguarded copy? So safeguarded copy is the wrapper of immutability around a block level snapshots. Right. What you can do is then tie that in with a scheduler. So you can create these snapshots on a regular basis, um, granularly down to about an hour. Okay, so you could take a point in time hourly copy of your production data and you could keep that for days, weeks, and decide yep. the policy. So if a threat actor were to get into the system and start to scramble your data, it was to install the virus, mm -hmm. then you have a recovery point that could be as granular as an hour. Yep. But I guess that's great because you can then say, well, I want to go back to 12 o'clock or go back to 10 o'clock, but you need to be able to do that at pace. So how, how quickly can you recover? This key system? point there, the speed at which you can recover is absolutely insane. So within seconds, you can spin off a thin clone from your production okay. copy, from that safeguarded copy. You can mount that to your host, uh, be it Hyper-V, VMware, IBMI, yes. yeah, Power. Absolutely, the whole um, systems. And from there, you can recover those individual virtual machines. You can run it on that snapshot right. uh, until at such time you, you are safe and comfortable with all of that data being retrieved. That's true. So it might only take seconds to mount it, but you do need to do all the checks to make so sure it's ready to put back in production. Yeah. But that means that on your, you know, on your primary storage, you have copies of the data 
at intervals that you decide could be days that you keep those mm -hmm. for as well. Yeah. And the recovery points are there and you can bring them back in seconds. So if a threat actor gets in, you have that ability to recover your business. Absolutely. All in your production storage. Mm -hmm. Correct. So we hope we've intrigued you with this unboxing of 5300. And we genuinely at Cabenco think the RBM storage range has something for enterprises of all sizes. You've seen the resilience, you've seen the feature set, you've seen the security features and the ability to protect you against ransomware. But most importantly, this is huge performance and we think the price will surprise you more than anything else. So if you want to talk to Cabenco, by all means do. But last but not least, thank you for watching and thank you very much to my, my colleagues, my friends, Chris and Jake for the help in this video.